She's asking for Mr. Jenkins. Did you tell her there was no smoking? Yes, sir. Then why is she still smoking? It's, um, I, I, I don't... She made a rather compelling argument, sir. Pardon me, ma'am. Ma'am. Miss. Miss should really only be applied to a woman younger or just reaching marrying age, which in the era this bullshit became common vernacular was around 13. And since I am clearly beyond that milestone and I'm clearly not married, the proper term for me would be maiden. But if you call me maiden, Alfred, I'm gonna stab you in the eye with this fucking fork. We have a no smoking policy. Really? Oh, well, looks to me like the whole place is smoking, Alfred. Unless the policy is just against me smoking, which I find hard to believe because I've never been here before. What do you want? To make a scene. You ready to watch that happen? I'll get Mr. Jenkins for you. I'd appreciate it. Hey, Tattletail. Bring me another. How come you can't rope like that when we're roping for money? Then I'm thinking about the money, not the fun. It's not supposed to be fun. Fucking practice. Walker, Jimmy, get your asses in there. Yeah, on a scale of one to ten, how bad's the luck from putting your hat on the bed? About as bad as changing a horse's barn name. Hey, what's this horse's name? Jimmy, you've been riding this goddamn horse for a month. You still don't know his fucking name? It's Ray! I thought you rode Ray. Nah, no, right on. All right, well, it's not quite the same as changing it. Jimmy, I went to prison for seven years. I say you're probably the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met. That's really saying something. I got him! Now we are! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get Why we take care of our tack, Jimmy? Oh. Oh. I put my hat on the bed, and I call it Owen Ray. Jimmy, you need to stop listening to those yahoos in the bunkhouse. There ain't no such thing as luck. But I sure believe in stupid, because you prove it every fucking day. Now get your stuff, and let's go. Get up. Oh. Where's my hat? Even your walk's angry, sweetheart. With good reason. I'm gonna check the airfield in Deer Lodge. Well, I'm starting to think that plane's from another state. Yeah, if I could get a warrant, I could check the flight logs out of the air traffic control in Bozeman. Be a lot of data to sift through, but I think no, I- No, we're not supposed to talk about work at the dinner table. In the morning, it's the breakfast table, Beth. We can talk business at the breakfast table. This is not a breakfast table. This is a dining room table. How do I know it's a dining room table? Because it's in the fucking dining room. Breakfast tables are in the kitchen. We don't even have one there. We have a bar in the kitchen. So I guess the point is, Dad, is that you can discuss whatever you want at the dinner table. It's just us who have to navigate the algorithm of ways in which you control what's discussed. Honey, I don't even know what the fuck that means. This is what it means, Dad. slept. Yeah, well, you, you slept. That's what matters. Is it too late to go fishing now? <laughs> Trout are like, like bankers. They don't do a damn thing in the morning. Hey, are you going up to the summer camp? 
Yeah, as soon as I get these panniers full. Cool if I ride with you, I want to see my kid. Monica, if you fall off, they're going to have my ass. I won't fall off. But if you do... You ready? She wants to ride up there with us. All right. Well, go grab her horse. All the good ones are up at camp. The only thing left here is a bunch of freight trains and monsters. Well, what the fuck is wrong with your horse, Jake? Well, it's my horse. Okay, Monica, get on Jake's horse. Come on. But we don't have time for this shit. Just go get a horse. Let's go. Why did he pick that one? You know what, Monica? You ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, let me tell you. Come on, my goddamn good horse back. Oh, now that looks fun. Monica, I don't think he's having too much fun. Hey, hey, Monica, god damn it. Time's breakfast. John? Uh, a little later this morning. Understood. I'll see you in. Yeah. I, you know. He seems really mad. Like, I mean, wow. That is one mad fucking man right there. Getting inside the truck is the safest place for us. Hello, dear. Hello, darling. I made dinner. Dinner, huh? Dinner. Thank you. What'd you make? Hamburger helper. Oh, you didn't have any hamburger, so oh. I used tuna. So tuna helper. You put tuna in the hamburger helper? Mm-hmm. Why not just use the tuna helper, darling? But they make tuna helper? You know what? Let's just go into town and get a bite. What do well, you think? You should try it. It might surprise you. The kid sure likes it. The kid? Mm-hmm. What kid, Beth? I think you might be our kid, baby. Who the fuck are you? My name's Carter. You know what? Shut up. Just shut up. Who is that? You? 20 years ago, we had the same options that you had. Look, he didn't have to be here. It's your decision, but you're the one that's got to tell him. I got to tell him. Boy, get your shit and get out of my house. Let's go. Sorry, kid. We gave it our best shot. I don't know where to go. You got four choices. Pick a direction.
Went to plan B pretty quick. What's plan B? Wait until everybody goes to sleep. Ride every car and truck on the ranch like a little raccoon. Don't you have it all figured out? Come here, you little shit. Fuck! Go on. Go lay on that couch and don't fucking move. I'll just rub you when you're sleeping. <laughs> I ain't sleeping. I'm gonna sit in that chair until the morning, and then I'm gonna run your ass into town. Can he at least finish whatever we're calling this? Please. Sure, why not? Here. Here you go. Eat up. Oof, what an appetite, huh? Well, I'm pooped. I'm gonna head up. Good night, kid. Boy, you sure outkicked your coverage with that one. All right, you little shit. I knew it. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I'm the bitch about to stab you in the stomach. I'm sorry, I didn't know he was married. Now here's a situation I couldn't have dreamed up in a month of Sundays. This is my daughter. She can be a little overprotective. Put the knife down, honey. Dad, if you're gonna hire a hooker, would you please let me get you a good one? Beth. Hope you didn't pay full price for that boob job. Actually, God gave me these for free. Looks like he gave me yours too. It's seven in the fucking morning. I do not have the energy for this shit. Now put it down, she's a guest in our house. an Uber. No, you're not. Can you drive me into town, please? I'll just calm the fuck down and have a, a nice breakfast. And then, yes, I'll drive you anywhere you want to go. I'll get dressed. Ah. Mm. Too old for this shit. Too old for her. I'm too old for that look you're giving me. I'm just too old for all of it. Or too old for some of it. You know, be nice to her. Okay, Dad. She held a protest at the livestock office, threw a rock at your brother, got thrown in jail, and I bailed her out for it. And then brought her home and fucked her. Along with your common sense. We talked till late. I offered her a room. Her clothes were covered in pepper spray and paint, so I loaned her a shirt. You know, Beth, maybe it's best you, you don't stay for breakfast. Oh, Daddy, I wouldn't miss this breakfast for the fucking world. Sorry I'm late. So, um, before dinner, I got a little business to take care of. Everybody outside. What business, honey? Everybody out. Come on. Outside. Give me a hand, would you? Beth. What the hell are you doing? There's something that I got to do tomorrow, Dad. And I want to be a married woman when I do it. Honey, honey, let's do this right. right? Let me plan. I don't give a shit about the wedding, Dad. I just hear about the marriage. Sweetheart, that's a priest. We aren't fucking Catholic. I don't care. You can sign the thing, right? That's all that matters. It's easy for us. We're getting married. <laughs> you okay with this? Beth, you are so fucking crazy. 
I thought you wanted to find a place that was just ours. I do. And we will take that ride, I promise. Sweetheart, if it makes you happy, I'm happy. Beth. Mm hmm Beth, you can't wear that dress at your wedding. Don't worry, Dad. I won't be wearing it long. Beth, I'm not your buddy. Okay, I'm your... I'm your father, so can you factor that into our conversations going forward? Okay. Ready? I love you. I hope you'll let me do this again for you. And do it right. You can do it any way you want. Right. Who presents the bride? Me. I'm, well, I'm the father. So normally I would uh, say a few things about the couple, but I don't have any idea who you people are. So I'll just move onward to the vows. I state your name. I, Rick Wheeler. Do take, state her name, to be my lawful wedded bride. Take Beth Dutton to be my lawful wedded bride. To have and to hold, to honor and cherish from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. To honor and to love to cherish through everything until I die. And that's no longer, baby. And now, Miss Dutton, repeat after me, I, Beth Dutton. Fuck yes, I do. No, um, not yet. <laughs> you do, I suppose. Uh, are there mm. rings? Mm. Oh, hold on, I have one. Here it is. What? It was my mother's ring. We didn't have much Beth. We were poor, but it's yours. And so am I. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> 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 Thank you, uh, thank you for doing this, Father. Oh, you're welcome. And, uh, don't worry, I won't press charges. Charges? Sorry, Daddy. Yeah, I had to kidnap him. If I could get a ride back to my church, I'd appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. How, how exactly did she <laughs> kidnap you? Pistol. It was just a little one. Okay. Tiny. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excuse me, Father. You want a whiskey, Daddy? Why not? Can I get one of those? Go fuck yourself. Make your brother a whiskey. I will not. Here. Here. Make me another one. Good afternoon, Ms. Dutton. Mrs. I'm an honest woman now. Beautiful car. Doesn't suck. But the payments are steep. You know, I've learned that the lease payments have an inverse relationship to the length of my skirt. I don't know what that means. It means the payments aren't that steep, buddy. You're a brewing. 
shrewd observers, the men in my family. Yes, I am up early. Why are you up so early, honey? Keeping my promise to you. Why are you up so early? Reflecting. I can't. I can't reflect at the end of the day. Evenings are for forgetting, but in the morning, I can remember. Remember what? There's some memories fathers shouldn't share with their children. I think we're way past that, don't you, Dad? I think I've told you about everything. Oh, I told you about my first threesome. Your what? Didn't I? I thought I... Never mind. <laughs> you want some more coffee? God damn, Beth. Well, I'm not the one sitting on a porch thinking about things that I can't tell my kids. What a fucking day. Hey, where's my dad? Went back to Alan. You hungry? Too excited to eat. Yeah? Mm hmm We need to celebrate. Yeah, what do we celebrate? I really fucked somebody over today and it felt great. I'm celebrating Lloyd's birthday in the bunkhouse. You're not going anywhere near the bunkhouse. A party? That sounds perfect. You know, I have the right dress for that. Yeah? Yep. Pretty wound up. Yeah, seems like it. Feel sorry for the other guy. <laughs> the guy's having a rough day, I promise you. Sir? Line up the trucks. Oh, they're lined up. We just need to know where they're headed. Ground in eastern Colorado, north of Panhandle in Texas. Okay. Sweetheart, don't bite my head off for asking this question. I don't like the way this is starting. Well, me either. Um, would you like to come to the fair with me? Sure. When? Yes? Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't I want to go to the fair? Is fair some sort of metaphor for something father shouldn't be uh, here? No, no, it's, it's the fair. It's the county fair. It's been happening for the last 92 years, sir. I get my sweater. Okay, sweetie. So you're talking about going to the fair? Yes, sir, yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hi! Hey, he's about to win me a fucking bar. Let's go, right here. Right here, I want that fucking bar. That fucking bar right there. All these games are rigged. Who gives a shit? I want it. Look, why don't I just give me the $30 it's gonna cost me to win the bear? Give me the bar! Come on! Ah, so. How are you doing? Can you explain this game to me? All you gotta do is toss three balls into the center hole. You can pick your prize. All right. That's the life. You got that. You get it in the hole all the time at home, Stu. Just like home. Okay, there's kids around. Relax. You got this, baby. Come on. Just throw it. <laughs> Fuck. They just went in. That went in. Yes, sir. Right in. Okay, but nobody gets two in a row, so it doesn't really Whatever. matter. Whatever. You want to step close and get me my bar? Let's go. Give Wait, me two okay, more of those bikes. Fuck you! Whoa! But that went in. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, so right if I get this, then I win. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't don't start trying now. Just throw it like you've been throwing. Yeah, but I haven't even been looking. Then don't look. Right this here. Is stupid. You just do that same thing again. Fuck it. You just look right here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby! Mama, mama gonna be mama. so good to with your Jesus, first kids I'm around. Heavy. Give me my bar. Come on, man, you give me my fucking bar. Uh, she, she wants, wants the bear. bear. Got it. That's what I said. Give me that thing. All right, just... I love my bar! 